We depend on electricity every day, and we rely on our local electric companies to make sure it's there whenever and wherever we need it. To do that, electric companies use a diverse mix of domestic energy resources to make electricity. These include coal, natural gas, nuclear energy, and renewable sources like wind, hydropower, and solar energy. The mix of resources is different in every state and region, depending on what's most available and most affordable. Solar energy plays a growing and important role in our nation's energy mix. And electric companies are leading the solar charge by having built or financed most of the solar power generation we have today. Some homes and businesses across the country are also installing rooftop or private solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity. The sun doesn't shine all the time and private solar panels can't operate 24-7. So most private solar customers also buy power from their electric company to balance their energy needs. At times when the panels produce more power than the customers can use, they sell what's extra back to their electric company. Whether they are buying or selling electricity, private solar customers still use the energy grid. What's the energy grid? It's the critical part of the energy system we rely on but don't always see. The complex network that makes electricity as reliable as flipping a switch. A strong, reliable energy grid keeps the power on for everyone, both private solar and non-solar customers alike. This is a big investment, and since everyone uses the energy grid, everyone should share in the costs of operating and enhancing it. Right now, an outdated policy called net energy metering is shifting the costs of maintaining the grid. That's because private solar customers who use the energy grid to buy and to sell electricity actually contribute less to cover grid costs than other customers. Yet these customers continue to be connected to the energy grid and rely on its services just like everyone else. Net metering started when solar technology wasn't as advanced and people needed incentives to give it a try. But now, these policies need to be updated to keep pace with today's technology. We're all connected to the energy grid around the clock. We all rely on it for electricity. Updating net metering policies is the best way to make sure that everyone who uses the energy grid is paying for it. That's only fair and will pave the way for solar to continue to shine.